Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Civi, and I just got back from vacation. And a friend had jokingly suggested that I do a Titus Time Out on HVAC and indoor air quality on airplanes. And since I had 12 hours on the plane to think about it, that's going to be this week's podcast. So even though Titus doesn't do airplane HVAC systems, I got curious and looked into it. I mean, who hasn't wondered about the IAQ on your flight as people are like sneezing and coughing around you? I was surprised to find out that ASHRAE does discuss HVAC and aircrafts in the ASHRAE Applications Handbook in Chapter 12, and I thought it was kind of interesting. It turns out that ASHRAE and the FAA set performance guidelines for aircraft HVAC, and ASHRAE Standard 161-2013, Air Quality Within Commercial Aircraft, addresses IAQ in the cabin. An airplane's HVAC system is part of a system called the Environmental Control System. Let me scoot this out of the way a little bit. It provides the HVAC, cabin pressurization, humidity, and contamination control. So let's look at the general operation of the airplane's HVAC system. So let me draw an airplane as if we're looking straight onto the front of the airplane. This would be the main body of the plane. And then you have your wings here. This is the floor that we're all sitting on and put in some seats. Let me draw in the engines. Then we get rid of this little section of wing and make it look a little bit more like an engine. So as air enters the airplane's engines, it goes through a series of compressors which increase the air temperature and pressure before mixing that air with fuel and igniting it. But some of that air is bled off and directed towards other equipment in the plane. So the air that's been bled off will come from the engine and into here. Even though the air outside the plane is like negative 65 degrees, if my in-flight TV was to be believed, after going through the engine, it comes out around 400 degrees F. So now it's cooled down in what's called an air cycle machine, much like it is in land-based HVAC systems through the refrigeration cycle. And then it is sent up and into the ductwork in the cabin. From here, it comes out the nozzles that you are probably so familiar with. And the airplane also has returns that bring the air back down into the bottom of the plane. These are located somewhere near your seats, where a fan can pull it back into the system as recirculated air. The air we breathe in a plane is 50% outside air and 50% recirculated air. Oh, and obviously the same thing is happening in the other engine. As far as IAQ goes, the outside air is heated to 400 degrees F, so it's pretty much sterile going into the system. The recirculated air goes through HEPA filters to filter out contaminants. ASHRAE 161 requires about 20 CFM per person of outside air on an airplane. So if you compare that to the 10 or 15 CFM per person in an office, you could actually be getting more fresh air on an airplane. Airplanes also have 12 to 15, or maybe more, air changes an hour. So the recirculated air is filtered pretty frequently during the flight. On top of that, the air leaves the nozzles around 500 feet per minute, and since the returns are close to your seat, it kind of helps to keep the contaminants more or less within each row. So that means you probably only really need to worry about the people sitting next to you on an airplane. So that's an overview of airplane HVAC and air quality. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And thanks for taking the time out with us.